This is our ZP3E, the newest generation vacuum cup. This is a flat design versus the bellows design. Has a rigid interior and you can see the grooves. This is also shot blast so that it has a, a better release of the workpiece when the vacuum is stopped. The other thing you'll notice is it is a single socket head bolt for removal of the cup from the adapter. Very easy to change out. It's a nice thick urethane material. 63 millimeter bore diameter at negative 85 kPa vacuum pressure is capable of theoretical 265 newtons based on the selection chart. When you convert that into pounds force and take into consideration a, a four to one safety ratio for picking up horizontally, we have a, a, an actual working force of about 15 pounds. I'm gonna pick up a couple different boxes and just show you. That was 3.1 pounds. This is 9.7. Here we have the ZP3E flat, 63 diameter. Here we have a ZHP with an integral vacuum ejector or Venturi right at the cup. It's a modular design, very easy to disassemble if the cup needs to be changed. It also has porting on three sides to allow an array of more than one cup running off of one ejector. The demonstration I'm gonna show you, same diameter cups, same tubing. This is a 0.7 millimeter nozzle. This is being run off of two meters two and a half meters of tubing going back to the same size nozzle but a single stage nozzle back on my mini panel. So watch the difference or the similarities as they adsorb the cardboard box. I'm running them off the same supply valve. Depending on your work surface this cup has shown with other materials to release slightly quicker than this. The reason being, you are venting the negative pressure inside here through your uh, silencer element. All three ports are plugged. Another main benefit of this unit is this is a two-stage nozzle design. This is being run off of a single stage, a little less money. This uses less compressed air to create the same amount of vacuum. Our next demonstration is kind of comparing your selection between either a flat 32 millimeter cup or a multiple bellows 32 millimeter cup to pick up an object with a round surface. Let's use our inch and a half PVC pipe. Here's a 32 millimeter cup, silicone material, also silicone material. Trying to pick up in the center. disconnect the flat, put on the multiple bellows. I believe you will find that this adheres, adsorbs, much better. Transfer acceleration is very important to consider when you're selecting cups. Here we have our sponge vacuum pad or vacuum cup. This is a 10 millimeter diameter, this is a 15. 10 millimeter diameter, theoretical force would be plenty to pick up this plastic electronics part. However, we're also picking up with grooves or an, an imperfect surface ridge. So it wasn't quite strong enough to hold, let's try the 15 millimeter. This could also be done on site. If you had a product and you needed to verify what cup 
works best, give SMC a call. Because here's the 15 millimeter. Much better. Okay. Here we have a stainless steel Venturi. Single nozzle construction, stainless steel fittings. I have a silicone tubing. This just represents if you had a part that happened to be cleaned in a tank where you still had moisture or residual water, it will not affect this, even the chemicals with its stainless steel construction. This is our vacuum flow amplifier. We're using compressed air. We have 60 PSI supply. I have a manual two-pore valve. We're gonna put positive pressure in and by means of the Coanda principle across a sharp edge orifice inside here, the air is going to be blowing that way. With 60 PSI, we're creating 450 liters a minute or approximately 15 CFM of air flow by only using 150 liters a minute of compressed air supply. So it's an amplifier. Here we're gonna transfer popcorn from one container to another. Another use for this product could be cooling. If you have an injection molded part and you're picking it up and moving it, you may also want to be cooling it at the same time. You can be using the same compressed air source to provide amplified blowing as well as that same compressed air source could be connected to a vacuum generator or other people call Venturis. Thank you very much.